So it tries to do intelligent caching based on the areas that you look at. So it will cache some of this, you know, we'll cache some of this offline. So I haven't tried this, so let's see if it works. Uh, but we can go ahead and we'll uh, we'll turn the Wi-Fi off. Uh, hopefully later on it will come back. So we should have also protruding over that way. So if I look at it's even more pronounced here. And so the 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 honeycomb UI, which we sometimes refer to as the holographic UI, also part of it is you know the things, just the transparency. And so as we switch, as we switch, I suppose like between us and here, as we switch screens here, you know you can see these are framed in sort of squares that are looking, you know, flipping around. Oh, okay. So when I look at Exactly. So here you can see two fragments. We have the messages list fragment and the content fragment. So as I interact with this fragment, the, the information over here changes. Other cool things you could do, like, oh, and so I can navigate back to my list of, you know, so I've got my inbox and my labels here. If I wanted to apply a new label to this message, I could tap on it and drag it over and I'll label it as personal. So you can see it changes there, and then not that good. Um, I have noticed that the aggressiveness of the corrections is toned down a little, probably because it thinks you have a bigger keyboard. You know, you can probably it's more likely that you meant what you said, kind of. Um, then, of course, I can turn video chat. Is there an ability to switch between the front and the rear camera when you're in video chat? Sure. They're not there, actually. So this is the feed that they're seeing, so they're seeing the back right here. But if I tap onto there, and go ahead and take a look at the, the new camera UI. It's actually pretty cool. So we've got all the things you would expect, but then like the yeah, settings, yeah, yeah. focus mode, right there, you know, everything, switch around, and then take a picture of you guys. So, see what they're saying. I just posted it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can I see the YouTube app at the moment? Sure. I think you know what? That's probably going to be a request. Let's add that. So, this is adding shortcuts to my home screen. So, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to avoid entertainment. It's not my favorite. So news and politics. Also not my favorite, but and it immediately more Yep. And so then you have the option to go to full screen here. And if I want, I can go to high quality. Oh wait, I wasn't high quality. There we go. Oh yeah. Do, will it remember that preference? Like if I select the high yep. quality video once, it'll always bring up. Yeah, it'll it'll default to it'll default to high quality. More stuff on my home screen. I can hit the plus button there. I can select from the widgets that I have in in the gallery down here. So you can see I have email, Gmail, uh, the market widget. So if I want to go ahead and add that, I just tap and drag like four, and then I can go right to there. I know it's going to load some market data for me. And then, of course, go. And uh, actually, while the while the demo was going on, I tested out the market.android.com website on this, and then selected to install to my tablet.